and I am back with the last video in this series, in this state series where I go over the top leagues in Europe and try to understand what, what has been going on so far and how, based on previous predictions, things have been going on. Now we move on to the last league in the list, a league which I was quite reluctant to make a video about but at the end I said there's no way I'm going to make a video about all of these leagues in Europe and not talk about the French League. Ligue 1. Welcome back to the JVM Football channel where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. So Ligue 1. Right to start, I think that the biggest story coming into this season was the fact that this was meant to be and is still meant to be PSG's redemption arc. PSG are of course the big dogs in France, not only in terms of money but also in terms of just success over the last few seasons and losing to Lille last season over one point must have really stressed the whole club about it shook things about and it made them have one of the best transfer um, transfer windows of all time. In my opinion, they, they had the best transfer window of all time just simply because of the amount of talent they managed to get in for free. We start with Donnarumma, they managed to get someone who is, in my opinion, the best goalkeeper in the world right now for free. They managed to get Hakimi in, one of the best right backs in the world right now. They managed to get Wijnaldum who has been a uh, I mean, I think that you, could, that you can't argue with me when I say top 25 midfielders in the world over the last few seasons winning the Champions League and Premier League with Liverpool for free. They managed to get in Lionel Messi, the greatest football player of all time, for free. They managed to get in Sergio Ramos as well, um, who has been a cornerstone of Real Madrid's defence and the reason why they were able to free Pete. So from that standpoint alone, um, you could begin to understand why I call this PSG's redemption arc and so far PSG have lived up to the task I mean at the moment that I'm recording this video they sit at the top of Ligue 1 at of Ligue 1, 11 points from second place in 17 games played they are dominating everything and some of the best players in the league the likes of Messi, Mbappe and Neymar are all from PSG Tim Maria, I mean uh, these guys need no introduction have PSG been able to rise up to part and perform how we expected them to perform? I mean, yes or no? Yes, no, because they, they've lost a few games and they've had a few dodgy performances. The last two games they have drawn. But apart from that, PSG, they've done the business. They've been getting the job done and that's really what PSG need to do this season in both the league and the Champions League because I don't think that anyone can tell me just looking at in paper alone that they're not the favourites in every competition that they set foot in Champions League, League or whatever else they're in PSG are the favourites because they have the best squad and so far they have been delivering delivering. Um, there is of course this little problem I mean I would say problem but concern with Lionel Messi and the fact that he has only scored one goal in nine games but it's Messi guys it's not really a concern, it's, it's a team problem. When when you have someone like Messi in your team, it's not a Messi problem, it's a team problem. Someone who's won seven Ballon d'Ors, someone who's regarded by many as the greatest football player of all time. I mean, at this point, it's just him getting familiarised with the team and, how, and them trying to find ways to work together. They also have Pochettino, someone who, in my opinion, I'll... A team like United would benefit a lot from and other teams as well. Looking at Pochettino's work and what he's he was able to do at Tottenham, um, PSG have in their hands one of the best managers in the world. So I'm just going to keep it short with PSG because I'll be making an individual video on this team alone. So yeah, so far PSG, I mean, nothing much to say, everything expected. And even the other teams, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to drag this video, so Rennes are second, Marseille are third, one Pierre a fourth and Nice a fifth. And the big really things that stand out are the fact that Lyon are not in the top ten even. And Lille, the team that won last year, is eleventh. And that's kind of where I want to take this video next is the fact that 
Lille, a team who won the league last season, a team who saw a lot of success last season, a team who I'd say lost a few a bit of talent last season. They're not in the top ten either. They're eleventh. And in fact they're gonna play each other tomorrow. When talking about this league on uh, I was happy when they lost that fifth place I, uh, in terms of like the rankings. They were no longer a top five league in Europe and I was happy for that. And also the fact that they were finally giving the likes of the Portuguese league some um, recognition. And this is kind of the problem here. This league is so weird, it's so inconsistent and inconsistent for all the other teams while PSG just reign um, supreme. Last season and the season of Monaco are the only exceptions. This is a boring league. I'm sorry if I offended anyone, but that's really how it is. I'm going over these leagues. And the League R is the one that I'm really unmotivated to do a video about. I, I, was a, I didn't even want to make one because I knew how I'd be feeling about this league. But anyways. Um, again, trying to keep this video short. Now I'm just going to go over the best players in this league. If I had to pick a top five so far in this league, I'd go with Messi. I, I and I, when I say top five, I mean which have been performing well so far this season. I'm gonna go with Messi. I'm gonna go with Mbappe. I'm gonna go with Messi, not because his performance has been amazing, but because it's Messi, guys. Come on, Messi picks himself. I'm going, to, I'm going to go with Mbappe, the best player in this league. He's already has he already has 15 goal contributions in 16 games. I mean, this guy is outrageous. I'm going to go with Payet for Marcel. But Payet has also been outstanding this season. 12 goal contributions in 13 games played with 6 goals and 6 assists. Payet, personally, is one of, my, one of my favorite players of all time. I was very sad to see him leaving West Ham. Not that I'm a West Ham fan, but I just really liked having him in the Premier League. And him going to Marcelo was kind of weird, but this isn't his, you know, just doing his thing. 12 goal contributions in 13 games. I'm also going to go with an underrated pick in Ander Herrera, someone who has been performing very well for this PSG side. Yeah, and even though it's not his job, Herrera is more of a screen player and the box to box midfielder when called upon. He has contributed with five goal contributions. He has. Um, 1.8 tackles per game, 80% successful dribbles, dribbles, I mean, Herrera is an excellent asset to this team, and finally, I'm going to go with, I don't know, a player from Montpierre, Te Teji Savonier, I don't know if you guys know about him, but for Montpierre to be in the position that they are right now is because of guys like um, Tej Savonier. He has four goals and five assists this season so far in 15 games played. Guys, this is just a really light overview. The other ones were also light overviews, but I, I kind of already had a more um, in-depth knowledge of the leagues and what has been going on. I have not been following League 1. I don't plan on following League 1 because I don't really like the league, to be honest. But anyways... Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.